Hey guys, my name is Julia. I am the owner of the decor company that we are selling here in Philadelphia area. And we are moving across the country where I'm taking my family and probably going to start a new journey. Not probably, I'm going to start a new journey, you guys, and I'm taking you with me. So what are we doing? We are packing everything we own, renting a big truck and moving across the country. So we are moving from Philadelphia to Denver, Colorado, uh, in that area, just because this is, this is the only opportunity we have had in the past couple of years, not even a couple of years. I'm talking about like 10, 14 years. And we decided to take the chance and I have big plans and ideas what I'm going to do there. One of the first things I'm going to do, I'm going to take you guys with me on a journey of starting my own business from the scratch. Because when I started my own business here in Philadelphia, I had a lot of mistakes that I've made. So I went through this big path of the trial and error. I learned a lot. There are a lot of the things that I wouldn't do um, if I was just starting over. And um, I wanna say this time I'm gonna do it right. But we all know that it's life. I'm gonna make mistakes. There's gonna be some bumps along like on the road. I get it, that's fine. But I want to share all of that knowledge step by step with you guys. And today what we're doing here with this video is the first step. So selling this business, moving across the country, and I'm going to start like new fresh page with a new business down in Denver. The business I'm starting down there in Denver is going to be the balloon business. So that will apply to basically all of the decorators, no matter what niche you have. Um, so you don't have to be working with just balloons, you can be the floors because all of the knowledge that I will be using will apply to anyone who is starting off in the industry. I've been, Pretty much, I wore shoes in like so many different like niches in the industry. Like, so I understand that basically the same techniques would apply to a florist, or if you're an event designer, or if you're an event planner, or if you're a balloon artist. So the steps that you will need to take in order to start, market, and make a profitable business would apply to all of these niches. It takes a lot of guts to get rid of everything you have everything you have earned and worked so hard for, like I did for Slay Displays. Like sell it, let it go, and then pack everything you have and drop your whole family with you into a state where you don't have any friends, you don't have any family, you don't know anyone, and start from the scratch. So how do I feel about that? I am terrified as heck, but I'm also very excited. I believe that I can do it because I did it once here with anybody's support. Nobody gave me money. I started with like my own savings, not even savings. It was, it was just like some money aside like each week I had like, so I'm like, oh, I have like a couple hundred dollars that I can spend for something like marketing materials or so. And I like a step by step um, building up my business. As I said, making a lot of mistakes. I got to where I am today with like everyone knows me in this area. Every like all the big hotels, we work with celebrities here, like all of the big planners and corporate planners. We've done it all. Five years, guys. And five years already, not like we just got this, like we've been this successful for the past couple of years. So I want to say within a couple of months, I think you can achieve it. I want to do it again. So I feel like I'm on a mission. I'm going to get myself from having absolutely nothing into getting, you know, my business up and going. Let's see how long is it going to take me. While we are waiting for a buyer, let me show you around and show you guys what we have. So we have plenty, plenty marquee letters. We built them here in our workshop. Every single one of them, we came up with a stencil. We build them. They're hardwood letters made out of the lumber wood um, made our electric so everything is beautiful so we have some of them over here with all of the bulbs on this side here I have my streamers all handmade yeah 
everything that has survived. So this is the famous table. If you guys part of the decor love, you've seen this table in a lot of tutorials. So um, this is the table where we build our projects. Also, we have our sews. Typically, like this is where it happens. On this side is a famous tool wall with 5 million rulers and other things. I don't even know the names of it. All of that I feel like is um, Serge's area. So he's the one who's building everything. And uh, I'm sure he has a name for every single item on this wall. I don't. So this is the area basically where we keep more stuff so we have some floral letters right here basically these are the marquee letters we just fill them with flowers to make them floral letters they're super popular for weddings this one right here is ready for the order for mr and mrs and floral and like their last name in florals again then the rest of the marquee letters and some of our wooden elements are like our Kiara boards we have our rainbow board our hexagon wall it's time to write some checks. So the new owner taking over all of the orders that we have already booked. Uh, so basically they are taking the remaining balance because some of the orders and some of the remaining balance has been already fulfilled, but the orders have not been executed. We are giving them that amount of the remaining balance. So basically because they are executing events, the money is there. So writing out those checks uh, for the, some of the orders that already been, again, paid for. So let's do it. <laughs> All right, guys, today is Tuesday. It has been a couple of days since we sold our business. Everything has been packed and moved away. Our workshop is all cleaned up and ready to go back to its landlord. Now, right now, we are in my studio with Decor Lab and I packed up some stuff to take with me to a new city. Here I have boxes of balloons and I got some bases that I am taking with me. Uh, the question is, why am I taking it with me instead of buying the new inventory there? Um, the answer is, why not? I have so much of it. And instead of like buying new inventory that I already have here, so I have a lot more left here for tutorials. And I'm going to take these and so I have something to start with my business down there in a new city versus buying new stuff like right away. As I said, today is Tuesday and we are moving in, in on Friday. So Friday, we are leaving this town. We're driving through, like, through all of the states across the country from Philadelphia to Denver, Colorado. And we're gonna start over. We have a huge plan there. What I'm going to do starting from registering the business and creating branding and marketing materials, creating a social media portfolio, networking, building collaborations, uh, networking with local businesses and collaborating with new businesses. And I want to take you guys with me every step of the way and show you that if I could do it, that means you can do it too.
you guys saw, I don't have a big apartment. So the first thing I need to do is to get a storage unit. So here I have a five by 10. This is what I'm starting with. And I'm going to use that for my business stuff and for some personal items that I have kind of booked up in the living room right now. And I'm just gonna get them out of the way. I'm gonna keep them here in a storage unit to start with. And I will be pretty much beginning like my balloons and my like bases as I need them. Just come here. It's like literally two minutes down the road from my apartment and it's very convenient. All right, you guys, we did it. We are fully moved in, unpacked. We even got a storage space, as you guys saw. And this is the end of our first vlog. Basically, yourself, we moved across the country, uh, sold our business. We moved in here in a totally different state where we don't know anyone. And next week, I will start basically everything for the new business. So what you can see next week in the next week's vlog is all the legal stuff that I will be going through, uh, creating the marketing and branding and deciding on a niche uh, by researching like current local demographic. I hope you guys like it. And again, thank you so much for joining us for our adventure. Um, I will see you in the next vlog.